Mr. Mayor, we are now live. Welcome to the virtual annual council meeting at the London Borough of Hillingdon. This virtual meeting is also being broadcast simultaneously on the council's YouTube channel, Hillingdon London. And I would like to welcome all those members of the public who are joining us via that medium. My name is Councillor David Yarrow, Mayor of Hillingdon. And as Mayor, I will be chairing the first part of this meeting until the new Mayor is elected. I have alongside me, at a safe distance, the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Teji Barnes, and the Head of Democratic Services, Lloyd White. The rest of the members of the Council are joining us from their homes. You're all very welcome. You may have noted from the agenda that we will shortly be conducting a roll call. Please refer to your agenda throughout the meeting as it will help guide you through the business tonight. And now a few words on housekeeping. Before we start, I would like to emphasize some important online housekeeping rules for everyone present. They are to remind everyone to please ensure any mobile phones around you are on silent, to please keep your microphone muted when not speaking, and then unmute to speak, only if called upon by myself or the Head of Democratic Services. Just imagine we are all in the Council Chamber, the same rules apply that only one person should speak at a time, that the code of conduct rules apply equally to this virtual meeting as to when we meet in person. I expect an immaculate standard of behavior. That if you are speaking tonight, and you should have already indicated to the head of democratic services that you wish to do so, please keep it brief and to the point. The traditional timer is in operation at this end, and I will be reminding you when your time is almost up. In terms of technical meeting control, if any councillor leaves the virtual meeting partway through for a period of time, e.g. a lost connection, I will continue the meeting unless we are not quarried, which is 17 councillors. I'm now going to move to the first item on the agenda, which is apologies for absence, and ask the Head of Democratic Services to read out any apologies that have been received. Item 1. The apologies for absence, over to you, Lloyd. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening to you and good evening to all your members. Very nice to see you all. Uh, I'm very happy to report that a rather unique uh, happening. We have no apologies for absence. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So, as in accordance with what on the agenda, I will be calling every member in turn alphabetically, much like we do when we do a recorded vote. I will ask you to unmute your microphone, state that you are present, and if you have any declarations of interest to declare, please state them. If you don't have any declaration of interest, please don't everybody say I don't have any, just don't say any out loud. So unmute, state that you're present if you have any declarations, and then please remember to mute your microphone again afterwards as I move to the next person. <clears throat> so in order, because this could take a while. Councillor Ahmad Walana. Councillor Ahmad Walana, are you present? Okay, I'll come back to that. Councillor Allen. This is not working. Councillor Allen, if you could unmute, state you're present. Thank you. Uh, next, Councillor Arnold. Thank you, I am present. Thank you. Councillor Bianco. Uh, thank you, I am present. Thank you, Councillor Birra. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Bliss. Councillor Bliss. <coughs> Councillor Bridges. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Brightman. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Burrows. Good evening, I am present as well. 
Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Chamdal. Good evening, everyone. I am present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Chapman. Good evening. I am present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Chubadar. Councillor Chubadar. I'm sure I've seen you. Okay, we'll come back. Councillor Cooper. On, sorry. On That's my right. way. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Councillor Chubadar. I'm Count present. Thank you. Councillor Cooper. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Councillor Cawthorn. Councillor Cawthorn, are you present? Okay. Oh. Councillor <laughs> Curling. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Dennis. Hi, Lloyd and everybody else. Yes, I'm here and I'm present. Thank you so much. Councillor Deville. Councillor yeah, I'm present. Thank you so much. Councillor Dillon. Good evening, everybody. Yes, present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Dot. Thank you, I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Duncan. Good evening, everyone. Yes, I am present too. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Edwards. Good evening, everyone. I am present. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Edgington. Councillor Edgington, I can see you. Hello, I'm I can here see well. you. I know you are present. Thank you, Councillor Farley. Thank Good you, evening, Councillor. Present. Councillor Farley. Good evening, present. Thank you. Councillor Flynn. Good, e um, Good evening, I am present. Thank you, Councillor Flynn. Councillor Fife. Yes, I am present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Gardner. Evening, present. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Goddard. Good evening, I'm present. Councillor. Okay, thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Councillor Graham. Councillor Hagger. Good evening, I am present. Thank you. Councillor Hensley. Good evening, and I am present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Higgins. Good evening, I am present. Thank you. Councillor Huranji. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Kaufman. Good evening, Lloyd. I'm present. Thank you very much. Councillor Lakmana. Good evening. I'm present. Councillor Lakmana. No. Councillor Lavery. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Lewis. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Makwana. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you, Councillor Markham. I have seen Councillor Markham, so we'll move on to Councillor Mathers. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Melvin. I'm present, Lord. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Councillor Milani. Hi, Lloyd. I'm here. I'm present. Hello. Councillor Milani. Can you hear me? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Thank you so much. Been... Councillor Douglas Mills. I'm present. 
Thank you. Councillor Richard Mills. I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Money. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you so much. Councillor Morgan. Present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Morse. Councillor Morse. Councillor Nelson. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor O'Brien. Good evening, um, Lloyd, I'm present. Can I also say that so is Councillor Cawthorn. He has um, texted me to say that he can hear and see everything, but you can't hear or see him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Councillor O'Brien. And I think I just saw Councillor Morse joining the meeting as well. Councillor Morse, are you? Uh, just to confirm I'm present and good evening to everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Oswell. Sorry, good evening, I know I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Palmer. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Prince. Present. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Puddyfoot. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Radia. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Riley. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor Riley. Councillor Lachmana, I've seen your message. You are present. Thank you very much. Councillor Rodriguez. Good evening. I'm present. Thank you so much. Councillor San Sapori. Councillor San Sapori. Councillor Seaman Digby. Lloyd, he's meant Good to evening, be joining. Councillor Sim Digby, thank you. Count thank you. Lloyd, he, Robin Sansampuri is meant to be joining by phone through the Labour Group office. That was notified earlier today. Yes, so, so I understand, Councillor. Thank you. He, he hasn't joined yet, unfortunately. Um, if he does do, we'll, we'll note that. Thank you. Councillor Simmons. Good evening, Lloyd. I am present. Hello, I'm present. Singh. Ah, oh, thank you, Councillor Simmons. Councillor Singh. Good evening, uh, I'm present. Thank you, Councillor Stead. Not hearing anything. Councillor Sullivan. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sullivan. Councillor Sweeting. Good evening, I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Tuckwell. Good evening, Lloyd. I am present. Thank you very much. Madam Deputy Mayor. Good evening, Lloyd. I am present. Thank you. And of course, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Yes, I'm present. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, everyone, for bearing with us. The reason for that is obviously, like a normal council meeting, we uh, are obliged to be able to show to the public that everybody was present at the meeting. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. We now move on to item three, which is uh, the Mayor's announcements. And I'd like us all to observe uh, a one minute silence for the sad news that uh, Jill Rhodes, who was a councillor in 1998 uh, till 2010 and mayor of this borough 2005 to 2006, passed away. And Cathy Langley, 
who was the mayoress uh, three times uh, to her husband, Alf Langley, in 1992, 93, 1998, 99, and 2003 to 2004. I'd also like us to remember those citizens of Hillingdon that have died in the coronavirus pandemic to date. If we could all observe one minute silence, please. Thank you. We now move on to item four, the election of mayor for 2020-2021. And it seems that I have the, the right to speak uh, as the retiring mayor first. Well, I never thought one year ago today that I would be leaving the office of mayor by virtual reality after the coronavirus pandemic cancelled the last three months of my term of office. However, it has been a great honour and privilege to serve the London Borough of Hillingdon as Mayor on two occasions, 2010 till 2011 and 2019-2020. To fulfil these roles has been a memorable experience. The Mayoress, Mary O'Connor, has supported me throughout this year when visiting schools, care homes, retail outlets, voluntary organisations, and of course, when representing the borough at national events. We've met many groups, communities and residents that make Hillingdon a great place to live and work and raise their families. I wish to thank the numerous people and organisations that have supported my two charities this year. There's one person I feel needs a special mention, and that is Councillor Jajit Singh, who has a passion, as you all know, for marathon running. He collected £4,000 and donated the full amount to the Mayor's charity. Every little help, but this large amount is certainly worthy of my appreciation. After discussions with the leader, he has agreed to transfer the money received from the sale of clothes deposited at the reclamation centres, which for this year amounted to £14,000. Uh, that has now been paid into my charity account. The total, therefore, for this year, this short year, I should say, now stands at £50,000. It is not easy using virtual reality, looking out over an empty council chamber. And I now look forward to sitting at the back of the chamber and taking part in the real world of debate as soon as the pandemic allows. I would have to say now a little addition that I find this far more stressful than being at a council meeting. But nevertheless, I thank you all for your participation and keeping my stress levels down during the real council meetings for over the last short year. Thank you. Now, we move on to the real business for tonight. Um, nations for the new mayor, Councillor Lavery, I believe that you have indicated. Uh, Mr Mayor, thank you. It gives me great pleasure to nominate my fellow Cavendish councillor, Councillor Teji Barnes, to be the Mayor of Hillingdon for the 2020-21 municipal year. We find ourselves in strange times and this virtual council AGM has a number of firsts and I'm sure most of us hope lasts. There will be no gathering of family and friends to witness the new Mayor taking office. The mayoral diary is likely to remain empty for the foreseeable future. 
This will be the first mayor from Cavendish Ward. And of course, if the ward will disappear at the next election, the last as well. We are nearly all at home with a near empty council chamber in Uxbridge. Councillor Barnes became a councillor in 2014 and it was quickly clear that she had a community focus for her work, taking a great deal of interest in the many local groups and organisations in our ward. As ward councillors, we will miss her hard work in the ward during the next year. Mm. Her roots are in this borough, having grown up in Lansbury Drive, Hayes, attending Hayes Park Junior School and Mellow Lane Secondary School. Her early working career took her to the far end of the borough in West Drayton. Teji and her family are now firmly settled in South Ryslip. I first met her when she was a governor at Ryslip High School soon after it opened. And I know she's also been a governor at Ladybanks School in Ryslip. Her current occupation as a driving instructor has given her a keen interest in road safety and she's currently chair of the London Road Safety Council. She is one of the few councillors who will be less recognisable in the mayoral car than in her driving school car we're used to seeing her in. Councillor Barnes will be a hard-working and popular mayor who will approach all her duties carefully prepared and with great enthusiasm. I know her family will fully support her throughout this year. She will be a great ambassador for the borough, and I hope all councillors will support this nomination. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Lavery. I understand Councillor McWana is going to second the nomination. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I wholeheartedly second the nomination of Councillor Teji Barnes to be Mayor for the 2020-2021 municipal year. I've had the pleasure and privilege to work alongside her over the last two years as a fellow ward councillor in the Cavendish Ward. Councillor Barnes is committed to delivering an excellent service to local residents. Her dedication is not only to the residents within the Cavendish Ward, but also to the local area. This is evident through her incredibly hard work to improve and deliver a road safety programme across the borough, an area that many members will know that she is passionate about. I know how much she's looking forward to her year as mayor, albeit starting in different circumstances, and I know she will thrive in this role. I wish her every success. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councillor McGuana. Are there any other nominations or objections? Good. I hear, I hear none. So as there are no other observations or objections, then the nomination is accepted by the council and Councillor Teji Barnes is appointed as mayor for the 2020-21 municipal year. There will now be, I wish we could all clap, but it's very difficult. <laughs> uh, there will now be an, um, uh, an adjournment, which will be two to three minutes while we change seats and, and other things. And uh, uh, we'll, this is my last speaking event uh not as mayor because we've just elected another one so i shall be sitting at the side and listening with interest to what's going on thank you
Uh, welcome back to the meeting, uh, members of the Council and ladies and gentlemen watching on YouTube. We have, as you can see, done the transition. The first uh, moment now under item five is for the newly elected mayor to make and sign the declaration of acceptance of office. So from a safe distance, I will ask the uh, now new mayor to do that. I, Tejpal Kaur Barnes, having been elected to the office of Mayor of the London Borough of Hillingdon, declared that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, members of the Council, ladies and gentlemen, the book duly signed and I'm delighted to announce that that concludes the appointment of Councillor Tejpal Kaur Barnes to the position of Mayor of the London Borough of Hillingdon for the full year 2020-2021. Back to you Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you so much everyone for this very honourable position as the Mayor of Hillingdon Borough and thank you to my fellow ward councillors Eddie Lavery and Hina McWana for your really lovely words and the lovely text messages you also sent yesterday and today. I would also like to give a special thanks to my previous ward councillor, Michael White, who would have been here as a guest had it not been for lockdown, as he was the one who asked me to stand as a councillor in the first place. Agenda item six. Announcement of the Deputy Mayor, 2020-21. I'd like to confirm in writing and announce to the meeting the appointment of Councillor Roy Shamdell to serve as the Deputy Mayor for the forthcoming municipal year. Congratulations, Councillor Shamdell. Agenda item seven, my first mayor's announcements. It has been a very unusual start to my appointment as mayor. It's good to know that this is the first virtual annual general meeting for Hillingdon and we are making history. However, I'm sitting in a nearly empty chamber with a few key people while maintaining our two meter distance and I'm trying not to mute or unmute myself at the wrong time. I have had sleepless nights wondering if my camera will switch on and at present my headset makes me feel more like a telephonist waiting to put a call through rather than the first citizen of the borough. Thank goodness for my heavy Hayes and Harlington chain of office draped around my shoulders which keeps reminding me of reality. The other more noticeable change is the fact that I have very few events in my diary due to the coronavirus pandemic that we are all living through. I have had quite a few people comment on how it's a crying shame that the events such as the care home visits, the school summer fates and citizenship ceremonies have been cancelled and have been asked, and I have been asked with amusement, what on earth I'm going to be doing with myself? Well, where there's a will, there's a way. I think things will pick up and life will return to a norm as we are already experiencing. I am hoping that I can participate in future events through virtual and physical engagement. I think this is quite an exceptional chance Sorry. I think this is quite an exceptional chance. There we go. I'm going to refer to this. So I think this is quite an exceptional chance for new beginnings and new ideas of how a mayoralty can adapt to a new norm. We have all adapted already, and I am really looking forward to a very unpredictable yet exciting year ahead. 
To accompany me on my ride, an eventual bustling diary of events this year will be my three children. My son, Cameron Swaran Bell, will be my escort, and my two daughters, Roma and Eloisa Bell, will be the mayoresses. So thank you, kids, in advance. It now gives me great pleasure to finally announce my charity. My chosen charity for the year is the Centre for ADHD and Autism Support. The charity is run by two awe-inspiring women called Lynn and Teresa and the rest of their dedicated staff. The staff are ordinary people who have personal experience of ADHD and autism. I've been told by the parents who receive support that this is essential as they feel they have someone who is non-judgmental there holding their hand throughout the difficult task of parenting. Individuals that suffer from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and or autism spectrum disability live with this for the rest of their lives. Children can suffer from a short attention span, impulsiveness, difficulty in social communication and interaction, which can lead on to loneliness and confusion. Things such as preparing for change, planning for the future, and trying to cope in unfamiliar situations will be practically impossible without dedicated parents and support from the centre for the parents and the children directly affected. What is sad is that the children can be perceived by society as naughty and parents can be perceived as inadequate when what they are probably feeling is just sheer exhaustion. During this lockdown, families have had to adjust to a complete change of routine, homeschooling to name one. Parents with children or adolescents with ADHD and autism have had to work even harder to help their child understand and mentally cope with a situation that no one has had to cope with before. The centre has adapted their support to concentrate on these changes. The staff believe that education of the wider community in raising awareness about the two conditions helps to change perceptions. And this is done by the charity through many different training courses. This training is key in making sure the community understands conditions which are not visually recognized. It took me no time in choosing this exceptional charity as Lynn and Teresa engaged me instantly in how they provided understanding and training for their children and parents alike who were affected by these two conditions. Their mantra is to support, educate and empower. And I hope I can help them on their way. Agenda item eight, the vote of thanks for our retiring mayor, the leader of the council, Councillor Puddyfoot. Madam Mayor, it's both an honour and a privilege to formally move a vote of thanks to Councillor David Yarrow for his service to this borough and its residents as the Worshipful Mayor of Hillingdon. David has worked tirelessly, ably assisted by the Mayoress, Mary O'Connor, in the office of first citizen of the borough. And despite having mayoral activities curtailed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the mayoral team have attended 511 events, both within and outside of the borough. As a Yorkshireman and a Leeds United supporter whilst living there, on moving to London, David became a QPR season ticket holder and had to quickly learn some fancy footwork on a mayoral visit to Chelsea FC so as not to declare his true colours. Although, as a long-serving Conservative, I suppose it could be said that blue is the colour. 
During his mayoral year, David championed the cause of two local charities, Hillingdon Autistic Care and Support and the Hillingdon Brain Tumour and Injury Support Charity. To date, as we have heard, he has managed to raise £50,000 to assist these two very worthy charities. I know that David is disappointed that his charity raising activities were curtailed by the effective shortening of his mayoral year. But fortunately, what was not affected by the COVID-19 pandemic was Hillingdon Council's ability to once again end the financial year well under budget. So I will be recommending to Cabinet that the amount raised to date is doubled and increased to £100,000. David, you have represented this borough so well during your municipal year, combining the dignity of the office of mayor with the ability to deliver both humour and compassion. Councillor David Yarrow, you are a credit to the London Borough of Hillingdon. Together with Mary, please accept our grateful thanks for a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Curling. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I welcome the opportunity to second the vote of thanks to the outgoing Mayor, Councillor David Yarrow. The role of the Mayor as first citizen of the borough and the representative of the monarch is one above party politics and sits right at the heart of our local democracy. The number of functions and visits that our Mayor carries out each year never fails to amaze me and the money raised for the Mayor's chosen charities is phenomenal. The Mayor's year in office is certainly a very busy one. Apart from the considerable work within our local community, the Mayor also has to chair and control full council meetings, which can sometimes be robust in their debates. Mr Mayor has to be neutral, as neutral as possible, and ensure that everyone is heard. I'm sure that this is one of the most difficult aspects of the job, and one in which we, the members of the council, don't always help. So the Mayor needs to be a person with lots of special qualities. Councillor Yarrow has proven has a proven track record because he was previously mayor and so he knew what he was in for this time around. But he took on the role and he's done the borough proud. Although we, although we are normally on opposite sides of the political debate, I know how hard Councillor, work, Councillor Yarrow worked in the local community, having served alongside him over the years as trustees on the Hastage Memorial Trust. So it is no surprise that he had the qualities required to be our mayor for a second time. It's just a pity that towards the end of his year as our mayor, we had uh, we had to celebrate VE Day during, pan during a pandemic lockdown, because it would have been great to have seen Councillor Yarrow out and about visiting the various street parties and community activities. So in conclusion, Madam Mayor, I have great pleasure in seconding the vote of thanks to the former mayor Councillor David Yarrow. Thank you, Councillor Curling. Councillor Goddard, you are requested to speak. Thank you, Madam Mayor. On behalf of Councillor Ray Graham and myself, I would like to say how honoured we are that our ward colleague for Uxbridge North, Councillor David Yarrow, was afforded the opportunity to serve as mayor of this borough. We must acknowledge that a combination of the general election and the ongoing pandemic have severely disrupted the mayoral calendar with a particular impact on fundraising events and on key occasions such as the civic dinner. And I know that this has been a subject of disappointment and frustration to David. However, even in this challenging environment, David has upheld the very best codes of practice and the traditions of the office, ably supported and assisted by Mary O'Connor in her role as mayoress. David has been an admirable ambassador for our borough at civic and other events and has presided over our council meetings with authority and impartiality. He's been a generous and considerate person in sharing his calendar appointments with you, Madam Mayor, such that you must surely now be well prepared for your year of office, which starts here and now. So our sincere thanks and congratulations go to David for a successful year of office and we look forward to welcoming him back to Uxbridge North duties very soon. Thank you. 
Thank you, Councillor Goddard. And I agree. And I would like to also add that the retiring mayor, Councillor David Yarra, did keep me very busy as the deputy mayor, and I'm very grateful for it. So I would take this as carried unless anyone wishes to speak otherwise. Agenda item nine, the report of the head of democratic services. Please note, as there are only two items for noting, which are 9.1 appointment of cabinet and 9.2, the result of the by-election held on the 27th of February, 2020, where Colleen Sullivan was elected to the Conservative Party, I will be not calling for a vote. Instead, we'll assume both are noted. Congratulations, Colleen Sullivan. Thank you. Agenda item 10, committee allocations and membership 2020 to 21. I'm going to now just refer over to the head of democratic services, Lloyd. <sighs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. Just a short note before you call on Councillor Flynn to move the committee memberships. Uh, just to remind members that the membership of the Health and Wellbeing Board that was distributed with the agenda was inaccurate and the up-to-date one is the one that was sent to you just a few days ago. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councillor Flynn. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor, and congratulations on your appointment. I would like to move agenda item 10 on the order paper concerning committee allocations and membership for the council year 2020 and to 2021. Thank you. Councillor Radia. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I would like to join in congratulating you on your wonderful news and the appointment. I second this motion wholeheartedly. Thank you. Thank you. I will assume that this is carried unless anyone wishes to vote otherwise. Agenda item 11. Is the Policy Overview and Scrutiny Committee's annual report 2019 to 20. You do have the pack in your papers. Councillor Richard Mills. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I'm pleased to recommend the annual report from Hillingdon's Policy Overview and Scrutiny Committees to Council this evening. These committees have again been productive over the last year in terms of their overview and scrutiny and have played a strong and important role within the borough. They've continued to monitor our existing activity as well as recommending improvements on how we deliver our services to residents across Hillingdon, influencing future policy and also how we operate as a council. Indeed, the impact of previous recommendations and reports are also continuing to be actioned throughout council operations. The committees continue to engage with a wide range of partners, resident groups and local organisations who all act as witnesses across our reviews. And on behalf of all of the committee chairmen, we thank them and are grateful for their support and involvement. To briefly highlight some of the work carried out in the previous year, this includes reviewing Hiddingdon's local economy and interaction with local partners, making our council more autism friendly, which I know you as will certainly appreciate, as well as from an environmental perspective, addressing littering and fly tipping within the borough, and also reviewing the dental service provision for young people. There have been a number of completed reports that have already made their way in front of cabinet and more will follow when circumstances allow. Madam Mayor, I recommend the report to council. Thank you, Councillor Edwards. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And may I extend my congratulations on your election, Mayor? Um, I will be very brief and just say that councillors from both sides of this chamber come together in these committees in the common purpose of continuous improvement in council services to the benefit of our residents. Members of these committees should be rightly proud of the role they play in maintaining and shaping the diverse services that underpin our reputation as one of the best local authorities in the country and that make Hillingdon the best London borough to live in. It is therefore right to extend thanks to the members 
committees, to the council officers that support and advise them, and most importantly, to the witnesses who voluntarily give up their time to share their knowledge, experience, and insight with these committees. Madam Mayor, I'm pleased to second the commendation of the report to council. Thank you. The report has been accepted and noted. Agenda item 12. In accordance with the provisions of the Constitution, to receive without comment a statement from the Leader of the Council, Councillor Puddyfoot. Thank you, Madam Mayor. As you start your municipal year in these unprecedented times, I am able to confirm that Hillingdon remains financially sound and has and as has been the case for many years now, is continuing to deliver services that are the envy of residents living in other local authorities. I've said many times at council meetings that we have some of the best staff in local government working in Hillingdon, and the past two months have really demonstrated that fact. From social care, refuse and recycling collectors, green spaces, the contact centre, housing, IT and finance, to name just a few. And we have received many favourable communications and thanks from our residents who are appreciative of the services being provided. 113 of our staff who were not able to perform their normal duties volunteered and used their skills to run the community hub, providing coordination and management, call handling and food delivery services, as well as making onward referrals to H4All. Many councillors from both political parties also volunteered to assist with food and prescription deliveries. At senior staff level, I've been continuing to work closely with the finance director, Paul Wayman, who with his colleagues has dealt efficiently with the financial aspects of the lockdown. And on a daily basis, I see or speak to the deputy chief executive, Jean Palmer, who has been in the civic centre every day, dealing competently with issues arising in all services at all levels. Madam Mayor, it is said that difficult times can bring out the best in people and across Hillingdon, very many of our residents have provided so many different forms of voluntary services to those in need of help or protection. And I know that I speak for all members when I say that I am proud of what they have done and continue to do. As I approach my 21st year as leader of this council, whilst I am proud that Hillingdon is now recognised as one of the best run councils in the country, my political coming of age is not quite what I was expecting. However, many years of the administration keeping a tight grip on the financial and operational issues did mean that we were well placed to deal with our current challenges. I'm fortunate to lead an administration made up of councillors with individual skills, but also with the essential attribute of having the ability to work together as a team. And I thank them all for their service to this borough. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the opposition not only for the part that they have played at committee and council level, but for the practical and common sense approach that they have taken over the past two months. I speak regularly to the leader of the opposition, Councillor Peter Curling, and I'm grateful for his support in these difficult times. Madam Mayor, all elected members of this council are here to serve and protect our people, our environment and our heritage. And in these challenging times, we remain committed to do that purpose. Whilst the National Directive, quite rightly at this time, is to stay apart, in Hillingdon Council, we will stay together and continue to support and deliver for our residents. Stay alert, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. I now formally close the meeting, but please do not switch off as I'm going to hand over to the Head of Democratic Services for the election of the Chairman and Vice Chairman of Committees. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Um, members, I refer you to the uh, pages three to eight of the agenda where the committee memberships are listed and as, as are the proposed chairman and vice chairman for all those committees. Uh, in a, obviously a departure from what we would normally do when we're in the chamber, uh, I'm going to be asking uh, by exception that all these committee chairmen are approved. Um, I've discussed with the leader of the council and with the leader of the opposition that we will take them on block. So unless I hear any objections to any of the proposed chairman and vice chairman, we will take those as agreed. I would just point out that in the list of committees, 
number 14, the audit committee. We will not be electing the vice chairman tonight as the chairman of that committee is not present and we will do that at the first meeting of the audit committee. Therefore, can I take it as agreed, all the proposed chairman and vice chairman, unless anyone objects? Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. And finally, I very much hope to see you all here in the flesh in your normal seats at our ordinary meeting in July. I would like to wish you a pleasant rest of the evening and just in time for our uh, NHS Care for Clap, Care for Clap for the Carers. Please do not unmute until the live streaming has stopped. <laughs>